Hey, August Block here again. Today is the first day of my training for Paris Brest Paris as part of this series. Today I'm going to take you on a great local route, beautiful views. I'm also going to try to do some intervals, which I haven't done in a long time. Maybe I'll hit like four or six intervals. And then we're just going to do some cruising and some sightseeing and maybe queue up a little Edith Piaf to close it out. Anyway, stay with me. Let's go get it. morning, 6 a.m. I'm finally able to log some miles this week. So many disruptions, particularly around the end of school, uh, my daughter uh, being tricky sometimes, and uh, just to carve out time just to log miles. So it's already Thursday, and this is my first ride that I've gotten in. I was intending to take a two-day break on, sat on Sunday and Monday because I'd hit it hard last week and then hit it, start riding Tuesday, but then everything got in the way of me successfully completing a ride until this morning. It's 6 a.m. and I'm gonna head out and try to log about two and a half, two to two and a half hours of riding. So let's get busy. <laughs> So today I have about two hours to ride, so I'll probably knock out about 30 to 32 miles. And since I haven't done much interval training this year, I'm gonna start with a, a interval training on this ride. I'm gonna try to hit six intervals at just 20 seconds each. Um, and just give it full power for that 20 seconds and see what I can do. I think if six of those over the next two hours, it's not that crazy, but it'll it'll be a good way to like get those twitchy muscles working and to really help build that incremental endurance and strength. Okay, I'm gonna hit my first interval right now. 20 seconds. Blood pumping, that's for sure. So, uh, I'm not a super fast rider. I usually cruise long distance, like a half century. I'll average in town 16 miles an hour, roughly, over 50 miles. That's not that fast compared to anybody who does race training or anything like that, but I can hold that pretty much over about 250 miles. So that's sort of my goal is that long-term consistency, but I would like to get faster 
on these training rides and bring that up to like 17 to 17.5 as an average over 50 miles. I think that's gonna be better for me in the long run in terms of preparing than when I back off on a on a long haul. I won't I'll have more strength. I can go further at that sort of high end of my normal speed. So that's my target. Okay, I'm gonna hit another interval now. Here it goes. I'm at about 25, 26 miles an hour. That'll be an opportunity for me to push that, hit 27, 28 incrementally. Woo. I felt that one. All right, so I'm gonna have my first, my first nutrients this morning. I'm about 39 minutes into the ride. I'm gonna have an, R, an RX bar. I love these RX bars, they're great. First of all, this one right here, the egg, whites, almonds, cashews, dates, I think it's delicious. But it also has 23 grams of carbs and 12 grams of protein. And it's sort of like a slow, nice slow release so you don't feel like heavy in your stomach. You can still, you know, do high intensity. And it's just really great. <laughs> oh, there it is. Man, this won't get you out of bed in the morning. I'm not sure what will. Okay, so here comes my favorite little pieces of this route as we cruise along the bay. So I'm just going to let you listen to a little Edith Piaf, settle in, and enjoy the ride. Je ne 
regrette rien Ni le bien qu'on m'a fait Ni le mal Tout ça m'est bien égal Non, rien de rien Non, je ne regrette rien Okay, so I've got some wind now, some headwind. I want to hit a, another interval. So let's see what it's like going into the wind. Woo. Okay, two, one. So I can tell I got something stuck in my tire. It's making a sound. Luckily I have tubeless sealant, but uh, these tires are kind of worn. I ordered some new ones. They should be coming shortly. So I'm gonna stop at the next light here and see if I don't have some uh, something stuck in there. Wait, it's going away. Maybe it came out or filled with sealant. All right. I'm just gonna roll with it. Screw it. Okay, last interval. It's been two minutes since my last one. I got a pretty strong headwind and now I got a slight incline, so I'm not gonna I'm not optimistic for speed. Here it goes. That's a three. Pretty good stuff. Can't really gauge your speed on those with headwinds. So it's nice to go fast. You still get the, the high. Just getting your heart rate up, getting everything moving. So just gonna bring it in, normal speed.
I just wrapped up my first training ride since I started this video series three days ago. Uh, I didn't hit exactly the 32 miles. I had to shave off a few miles because I got out of here a little bit late and I'm getting a little pressed for time, trying to figure out how to actually shoot this, you know, the time to move, you know, move the camera, set it all up, think about what, what would be interesting to shoot. So I got out of here a few minutes late, but it was a really good ride. I love the intervals uh, and uh, it's such a beautiful morning. You get such a high riding, so fun. Anyway, thank you for coming along with me. Let's keep on going.